Good morning. Hope you can hear me. I'm actually outside of Gracie Mansion right now, where there are a couple of hundred uh, members of the fire department and other agencies who are not happy about the mandate. And one of the things that they're saying is that 70% of the fire department had COVID and that they should have an exemption for what they refer to as natural immunity. So I'm wondering if your health team can respond to that. And in particular, members who've had it very recently, should they be allowed to wait before they're getting vaccinated? Andrew, I appreciate the question. I want to say, um, I really feel like our health team has done an extraordinary job uh, answering these questions for really for months, trying to help people understand why decisions are made to protect everyone. And I, by the way, I give President Biden, Dr. Fauci, everyone in the Biden administration credit. They've been explaining this for months now to help people understand why vaccinations are necessary. Um, but it's worth repeating. It's worth continuing to answer. Uh, and certainly the specific question you ask about if someone had COVID recently, what's the right protocol? So, but to this bigger point about what natural immunity can and cannot do and why vaccination matters and why it is the difference maker in avoiding hospitalization and God forbid death. First, Dr. Choksi, then Dr. Varma. Uh, thank you so much, sir. And I'll speak to the smaller point first and then the larger point. Um, with respect to uh, what uh, our policy is, um, for someone who has very recently had COVID-19, um, they should uh, take the time to recover uh, and of course should be isolating, you know, during the, the usually the 10 day period uh, after they've been diagnosed with COVID-19. Um, after that is when we do have uh, our strong recommendation that uh, people uh, should get vaccinated. Uh, and that gets to the bigger point here, which is um, when it comes to prior infection, we do know that it affords some degree of protection. Um, that's not a contentious point. That's not what is being debated. Um, what we have to talk about is that the strength and the duration of that immunity uh, remains unknown. But what is known is that vaccination in that scenario uh, lowers your risk further. Uh, we have good evidence both from a national study as well as a study uh, here in New York City that shows that the risk of reinfection is about 2.3 times uh, lower uh, when people are vaccinated um, after they've been infected uh, compared to people who remain unvaccinated. So the bottom line is that we know vaccination is safe we know that it works, uh, and we know that it helps to protect communities, um, regardless of whether someone has been previously infected or not. Thank you, Dr. Varma. I, I think Commissioner Chaksi has really touched on all of the really critical issues. I, I would just, since this question comes up a lot, I, I'll take just a brief moment to explain uh, what the future might be. You know, in, for some other infectious diseases, uh, we have laboratory tests that are very reliable and wild, widely available to help you determine if you're immune. Uh, we don't have that yet for COVID. All of the studies that show uh, your protective ability really right now have to be done in research facilities. The standard antibody tests do not perform at the level of telling you whether you're fully protected. So there may be some point in the future where we can use uh, prior infection as equivalent uh, to receiving vaccines to determine whether you are fully protected or not. But we really don't have that uh, available to us at this time. And that is why the overwhelming scientific consensus is that because vaccines are highly effective, highly safe, that even people who have been infected in the past should continue to receive them. And that should be our standard uh, for assessing whether or not you meet our vaccine verification uh, standards or not. Thank you, Dr. Varma. And I want to emphasize, Andrew, and to all our colleagues in the media, uh, Dr. Varma has literally traveled the world, uh, studied uh, these realities deeply. He is a national and international voice of great renown on this topic. I urge anybody in the media who wants further clarity on this issue, talk to him directly. But I really want to accent what he said. Overwhelming scientific consensus. We have to note how the scientific and medical community has been almost entirely unified on this topic. And that's got to mean something. I understand there's a lot of distrust of institutions, but I, I really urge everyone to pay attention to the folks who've devoted their lives to saving other lives and protecting people's health, health are saying, 
across the board why vaccination is necessary, even if people think they have some natural immunity. Go ahead, Andrew. Mayor, the fire union is encouraging even its unvaccinated members to show up at work on Monday to each of their firehouses. So what is your plan? Will you have police at firehouses checking vaccination? Are you going to have fire commanders doing it? And uh, do you agree with their assessment that there is a risk that dozens of firehouses will have to close down due to lack of personnel? Uh, no, I, we've been obviously working to prepare uh, the department, Commissioner Nigro and his whole team, uh, I think, are very able to put contingencies in place as needed. Uh, they've already talked about the fact that they have a variety of tools available, uh, mandatory overtime, uh, scheduling changes. There's other, uh, other options they can turn to to address the situation. So I am certain, and I'm listening to Commissioner Nigro, who's been literally given his entire life to the people of New York City, uh, that we will be ready. Um, if folks show up who are not vaccinated, their supervisors will address that as with, as with every agency. And it means, of course, they're not getting paid at that point. The solution is just go get vaccinated. But that will be handled on a managerial level. Next, we have Dave from ABC7. Hey, Mayor, can you hear me? Yeah, Dave, how you doing today? 